Friday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I'm doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. Before jumping into today's reaction video, just in case you did not catch my last upload, there's the thumbnail. Go over and check it out. Also, I want to say to everyone that celebrated the 4th, happy belated 4th to everyone. I hope y'all had a great and amazing time. To the ones that just say, it's another day. I ain't doing no celebrating here. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all day as well, okay? So anyways, y'all, if you are new here, you are wondering who I'm talking about. I am talking about the breeder, uh, Shanika Grant, Nika Busy Life 10 Edition. Her channel name now is Miss... Nika Crazy Life 10 Edition. And I tell you what, the shit that you put out here is more than fucking crazy. It's weird, okay? And it's some shit that you just, it's its not okay, okay? So then that's where I sum it up. Continue to change the name. Continue to do whatever you try to do. But when you presented yourself and the things that you done, okay? People already have that perspective of you and it ain't no change in that, okay? Unless we see a big drastic change, but it ain't no change, ain't no switching up, ain't no looking different, it ain't no give her the benefit of the doubt, it ain't none of that. And then that's where I say real quick for the ones that jump in my comment and try to tell me I'm wrong, how the hell am I wrong when y'all, I mean, y'all don't see the shit that she do with her kids, around her kids, and all these things. Y'all don't see that shit. Y'all blind to the bullshit, but y'all want to step and say something to me like, oh, I'm wrong. Well, then, in that case, I continue to say, allow me to be fucking wrong. Because evidently, I see something that you don't. Evidently, I heard something that you don't. Okay? So, if you don't know the backstory, if you don't know what's really taking place, how can you speak? That's what I would say. Anyways, y'all, let's talk and let's jump right on in into today's reaction video. All right, so let's get caught up, okay? So bear with me. I'm going to bounce around. I'm going to jump from video to video until I get where I need to be. I'm going to also talk about some Instagram posts, okay, that she posts just not okay. Then you say... That's why we question the things that you give, okay, with your own son, Papa, is because how you display shit. And I ain't taking that back. I'm just saying. You you have someone that claims that they've been through so many things, okay, that has, that has not tried to get help for those situations. So then you say, hmm, would you ever do something out of line or out of pocket to your children, I'm just saying on a on a sick note, then I say, you never fucking know. Because what she gives with her son, Papa, is fucking weird. And I'ma just leave it at that. And I ain't the only one that's sitting here and saying it. And then you will say, when you have a fucking army, okay, you have an army saying the same thing against uh, a couple, okay, just a, a little team, a little couple, okay, then it says, it says a whole lot, but anyway, first video I will be talking about is looking around South Carolina Mall for early school clothes and shoes and Roses Express. How many of y'all believe this fucking title? I took this, and when I seen this title, I said, girl, come on. You're not going to the mall to get absolutely fucking nothing, especially not shopping for your kids. If that hoe don't got a Goodwill or thrift store or however title on that hoe, you're not going to shop for them. Okay, so then that's where I say, if y'all paid attention in my video that I put out the day before she put this out, okay? It was a lot of talking about uh, people are really getting tired of your content. People are getting tired of seeing the same thing. You could at least go out and get your coins and start trying to prepare, okay, school shopping for your kids. That's something somebody want to see. But I'm dumb as fuck, slow as fuck, can't comprehend on shit. I take that and say, well, we're going to stroll and we're going to ride to the mall. 
that's a waste of time, waste of gas, and waste of a fucking trip because you don't even look uh mall equivalent, okay? We know you don't go to the mall for shit. Everything you buy is off Timu, Sheen, uh, who is the other one, y'all? Oh, city tree. You say you going to the mall for your kids. Everybody look at you and say, oh, that's bullshit. She just going to the mall to try to serve something that looks like new content. Because then that's where I say, if you really going to the mall for your kids, go into the stores, okay? Let us see what uh South Carolina, what they clothes and what they things looking like. Allow us to see you actually looking for something for your kids. Go to a fucking food court. Do something. Oh, she ain't got the funds to do that shit. She just that's trying to drag y'all along like she do on these dollar store runs when she really don't have nothing to go in there and get. Okay, but if I'm going in here for one item, I'm gonna walk y'all around the whole store because this is how I'm creating my fucking content. I don't know nothing else. I don't know, uh, let me take my kids outside and go take them to a park. Let me go take my kids somewhere fun, go movie night. Let me, she don't know how to serve none of that shit because that ain't the true her I would be going to the mile just to walk the fuck around, go in that hoe, make a little content, allow them to see me at the mile and say I gave something different and then leave and then say, oh, I was looking for my kids some shoes and shit. Bitch, we know they were uh, plastic and rubber, okay? Plastics and fucking rubber with no support and anything that's of a name that's of good to give support is coming from somebody else but you are not going in the mile looking for your kids absolutely nothing for school and then that's where i say what did you buy you didn't show us absolutely nothing so then that's where i say this is just a made-up trip trying to present cunt Yeah, like I can't go to the mall. Went to the mall around stores with my kids. I had the shoe store, shoe show and stuff for school. Try to start early because I wait too late. The store's gonna be overpacked and money gonna be tight, so I'm starting early. But that's the reason why I was at the mall. And then I have to throw a question in there for y'all. Since y'all have tuned into her channel, okay. Have y'all ever seen her go to the mall to buy herself anything or them kids anything? Have y'all ever seen it? The only time you trying to see it of me going is because they say I need to give a different type of content. But the thing with me, I don't have shit to give. But what I give on the everyday basis of this is a life, a life of a struggle, a life allowing my kids to sit here, okay, and sink in fucking poverty. This is what you showing. Then rather than that, show Naya me holding her back. I also went back in a video and I want to pull out a clip, okay, of Naya. This is Naya. At a young age, Naya wanted to work. Not only did she want to work, she wanted to go to school to do her. Not only did she want to go to school to do her, she also wanted to go to school to be a nurse. She had, she was full of ambition, okay? She was the one that wanted to branch off and do these good things. That's what she wanted to do. But somehow when you have somebody just continuing to ride your fucking back, you're not allowed to do those certain things. You would look at Taquan as a fucking dropout, okay? He's a dropout and he has shit going for himself. Just want to be high all day. But then you had Naya on a job, going to work, helping her breeder. Not only that, trying to plan her life out of going to school. Not only going to school, but trying to move out. But did y'all catch it when Nika came across and the kids told her? Her, that Naya wanted to move out. She had to have a full conversation somewhere in there. And when Naya sat down trying to explain why she wanted
wanted to move out and the plans and goals that she had for her life. I think then that's where I said being young and having full fucking potential. Okay, Naya was the one that was gonna branch and really get get something going because this is this is how she's seen it. So I'm having a talk with my daughter because she's planning on moving out. The kids come and told me that she's moving out. So y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video and what y'all think that she should do or what she should not do. Um, because I really need to have a mom and, and daughter moment with her. So let's get into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm really a little upset that she's wanting to move out. So we're going to get to the bottom of it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. How was your day? So why are the kids telling me walking around the house, can't write to mama nice if she moving out, she packing her stuff. So I told them they want to be cool, because basically we've been talking about my farm. We talked about me going to college. And you said I learned from school because you don't come to that day one day. What's your plan if you move out? I want to start from somewhere. So why you want to leave home? It's not that I want to leave home, it's just time to like see what responsibility really is like. It's time to see like. Growing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm happy right now, where are you gonna go? You know what I'm saying? Smart girl. How you feel about your brother and his ways here? He can get better. He's not He's kind of hard to understand because you don't talk to him like he Oh, yeah. This is our real ass family. You know how I family. I family. Sideways. Nobody else in town going to go down on him. Ain't like having no rules in your own house. Though. Yeah, you do what you want. Do what you want to do. My house, we got shit. I thought they were having my own place going to be too quiet. Oh no, you like to look at TV and read and do stuff. I mean, the kids scream. This is gonna be all right. Get you a nice little apartment. Pick a little thing up. Get you a little job. A little thing job at that. Uh huh. Now she wanna come and ask for change. I'm on. I'm doing a. You talk right now. But uh, that's what mom's supposed to do, sit and talk to their kids about responsibility. Nigga made sure she spoiled that shit. Nigga made sure she took that shit away. Cause then that's where you say you wanted to move. Okay, and then in another video, you come back and you say you decided not to move. And you didn't care what nobody said. Okay. It's it's your job of you wanting to help her because she needs you. To kind of give y'all a little rundown. For those of y'all that watch us and those of y'all that really know us or support us or whatever, y'all know that we got a really close bond. But a lot of people be asking me a lot of questions about how do you feel your mom doing this? How do you do that? Why you do this for her? Why you do that? She's using you. She do that. Let's go ahead and address all those issues. My mom is my mom. I love my mom. And it don't matter what nobody has got to say about her or whatever they think because that's my mom. Like, I do what I want. Like, if I choose to pay bills and stuff, I can because I'm still living her out. So, right, I could have my own place, but I chose not to. And this is where the decision is coming from. I'm choosing not to move out anymore. I'm choosing to stay to get my car, to work on myself, and just work as much as I can while I'm here. Because I have college coming up, and I don't want to be trying to move out and don't have enough to support myself and stuff. So I'm going to stay with my mom because I'm definitely going to support her, and she's definitely going to need my help, so I'm not going anywhere. And I bet a lot of y'all like drama, so this title definitely did caught y'all attention. Well, not a lot of y'all, but some of y'all, you know. But 
that is my final decision. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to get myself together and work on me. But y'all, listen. When I tell y'all, my mama is my everything. Like, she is my world. You got to be thinking crazy. Because if I decide to do something for her, it's out of love. Like, it's not because she asked me to. But if I know she needs my help, I'm going to give her help. So, yeah, this is, like, a video just, like, clearing everything. Like, start worrying about stuff that don't have nothing to do with y'all. Like, just make ends meet with each other because it's my parent, like I said, at the end of the day. I'm happy here. This is my happy place. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. It's my decision. Nobody can't change that. And nobody can't change how I feel about my mom. It doesn't matter what she does on the internet. You feel what I'm saying? So, y'all could just cut that out. And I know she's been going through a lot of stress and stuff. She's strong for a reason. She's here for a reason. She has a reason to, you know, feel how she feels about certain stuff. And as a parent, you do have to go through a lot. But I'm right here. Because I told her. I didn't tell her yet. But I'm not leaving. Like, why would I leave? I could just work on me and get my life together here. And stay somewhere where I know I'm be happy. And I don't have to worry about not having a home or something because I can always run back to her so yeah this is just addressing y'all little issues and stuff and I really hope that y'all watch the video like y'all was supposed to but make sure y'all go ahead and like comment and subscribe because that's just no because then where do your life start at that's what I want to know just because somebody needs you where do your life start at where do it begin when you have intentions and you have an ambition and you trying to set goals where do it where do it start where do it start when you stepping after but Nika continue to try to pull you back by your lace front and you know you can't move because you want your fucking edges right so you allow yourself just to be stuck stuck here with all your siblings and can't move and then that's where I have to agree brainwashes what she give and what she do to allow these kids to stay stuck in this situation not open their mouth and say nothing and not allowing Naya to move along and move ahead. Drop it in the comments down below. Who else from South Carolina? Is this what y'all malls look like? I mean, nobody in the mall, just empty? I'm just saying, these Texas malls, I mean, you. it's not just one story. Uh, there is people any time of the day. You still gonna have people. If it's a, a weekend or something, you really gonna have people. But to walk around in a mall and it's just like, ain't nobody up in that hole. So this is her serving new content, y'all. This is what this was. It wasn't trying to do shit for her kids because we know she don't do shit for her kids, okay? That's that's out the picture. And then that's where I say, when you have somebody on here presenting themselves as doing the best that I can, uh, being a mother is not easy, okay? When you come on and you present yourself as being a single mother by choice, but you shit on your kid, kids every chance that you get, you shit on your kids every chance that you get, and then you have the nerves to come on and address, okay, another kid about where your mama at, and you're never nowhere in your situations where you need to be for your kids. Then that's where I say, that's somebody that you fully can't have respect for. So then anybody on the outside, if y'all ever, okay, ever feel like I have respect for this bro, I won't, okay? I don't. Mm. Every time I sit here and I have to watch a video, knowing this is a new day, a uh, new time, okay? These kids have been in the house all fucking summer. Probably get out once a month, and that is when she receive her YouTube check and allow them to go to Dollar Tree and get a fucking snack. But they're not maneuvering. They're not doing anything to do something fucking different. But when it comes to her and Naya, we at the mall, we doing this, we doing that. Also having a baby at home, okay, so Asia, and she gets no real love. Y'all see that shit? How would y'all feel? I mean, could you respect somebody like that? And then when you have so many single mothers out here in the YouTube streets, and we saying, why is you presenting this shit to allow others to feel like this is the way that it is? And how it go. If you don't want better for yourself or for your kids, this is the shit that you will give and serve. But don't put it out here like, okay, if you a single mother by choice, this is your life. Now, nah, bitch, you right by choice. By choice, i rather be in this situation. By choice, i rather have my kids stuck in the house, not seeing the outside. i rather, this is what you rather do than 
do better, okay? So then that's where it's like, that's why you can you can say whatever you say about her. There is no respect, okay? When she say respect is due to a dog, it is, okay? It is. Because dogs treat they litter, okay, way better than what the fuck you give. They make sure that they good and straight and all those things. And not only that, okay, protect them by any means necessary. Bitch, you out here for yourself. That's it. Mild trip for yourself. If you try to get your kids some shoes, why not bring somebody along? You could be shopping one by one right now because the fucking time is ticking. You got school and also you got birthdays. I wonder how this going to roll and play out. Hold on herself in the title of this video. She said, looking, okay, looking around South Carolina mild. That's exactly what she was doing. She was just looking the fuck around. She wasn't looking for nothing for the kids. She was just looking around just like she want everybody to look at the fucking clouds when she driving. She wanted y'all to look around the mile as well because this was just for content purposes, not for her looking for anything for the kids. Because she would have went into stores and then picked up outfits or picked up shoes. She didn't do none of that. So then that's where I was like, go ahead with this fake ass mile trip. You ain't got shit to show from it it was just uh, a view okay for everybody to fucking look around and see South Carolina miles and as I said on my video her content her content is presented off of what everybody has to say okay the reason why i gave you the mile trip is because they said i show the same shit so what's for free going to the mall not buying shit just looking around and coming out empty-handed with nothing so then i move over about her going into roses and picking up okay that one bar of soap one bar of soap when you got many kids at home that need to take baths and showers as well okay she made sure she talked about it to say they talking about me buying that one bar of soap when a pack is five dollars and some well i'd rather buy a whole pack for five dollars and some because everybody need it but as she said as she always say her she go she bought that dollar one but the kids got soap at home oh. Oh, what are you you bad Three years later, sweetheart. She, him, I got a dollar bar of soap with, with the regular passes follow. The kids got soap at home. I oh, that's because it's one individual bar. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Don't know if she follows what. Do it. I mean, you always talking about what the kids got. The kids got air mattresses, but the kids sleeping on the fucking floor. The kids got a lot of clothes, but as we can see, they ain't really got shit. They wear the same shit over and over again. So, I'm confused, okay? And so, since we're talking about kids and taking baths, drop it in comments down below. At what age should your kids be taking baths and showers by themselves? Okay, should you allow your boys or your girls to be taking showers and baths together? Y'all drop it in comments down below. Let me know, okay? Because Nika gonna have her nose sniffing ass over it anyway in the comments. So allow her to know if that shit is okay or not. Because I think at a fucking certain age, they should be bathing separately. You understand? Just like when Sai pooped on herself or whatever that case was and she put all them girls in that same contaminated water. So then that's where you say when Naya was telling uh, them when they finish cleaning up, they need to take a bath and Nika had a nerve to say oh the boys, the boys is already taking so they're showering and taking baths together. Mm, they too big for that shit. I would say. So moving along, next video is titled uh, one $150 bingo night taste for Waffle House all-star meal McDonald's for the kids. Kids always got to eat cheap ass McDonald's. Always got to get a cheap ass chicken nugget. Always got to get a cheap ass cheeseburger. Why everybody couldn't eat a uh, Waffle House? I mean, you won, right? You went out here spinning, so it's always got to be a difference. They never can eat as a family as a package if this is what i'm eating this is what everybody gonna eat she always gotta get them some cheap ass mcdonald's on a win at bingo so she says she won 150 okay she says she spent 60 dollars on their food 30 for the kids 30 for herself and she was left with 37 dollars okay so if you won 150 dollars you have 60 
And you have 37 left. Can anybody add that up? Tell me how much that is. Is that 150 or was the winning 150 but she only came home with a piece of that? I don't know. But I would say whatever you won, why not throw this towards um, their school clothes instead of throwing it with some food, okay? I, I, I gotta eat something. I want Waffle House. I'm going to get them McDonald's. When you could have said, well, I won $150. Let me at least go take this 100 and buy some jeans, some shirts, start some fucking work. Because then that's where I say, I want to see where the fuck she going to start. Because I know she going to be in that same situation, that same situation that she was in for Leah's birthday. But then everybody say, you had the funds, you won some money, but you choose to eat up everything. Let me talk some Woo! Money on my mind. Let's see what I got left that I want. I'm gonna go put it in front. Because all our food is like $40. Here, turn it on. Our food was $40. Everybody's food was $40. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got $37 left on that money that I want. Yay! Because everybody's food was four thirty, and mine was $30. $60. I ain't winning much, but I win some. Get over there. Get over the camera. All right, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that. You choose to eat up everything and then serve your kids your leftovers, your fucking scraps. If you knew you couldn't eat the bacon, why the fuck did you order it? If you knew you couldn't eat hash browns, why the fuck you order it? She sat there and fed her face and then wanted to give Leah her leftover scraps after she done sat there and broke the bacon up. And I, I mean, and my kids, they got some nuggets, fries, and cookies and stuff. They still eat their stuff. But this is what I got with the hash browns. So enjoy. Ew. Oh, mm, y'all, please don't put it. Don't want nuggets? Mm -hmm. right, want some, Give me a second. I'm eating. All right, here for. Hand me the nuggets now. Well, no, come on, camera. Go back over there and Put two on his plate. Two more. Get that, Isaiah. Yes, ma'am. Me too, Mom. Two more. Yeah, I only had six hundred. What part of the sauce up there? Put it for Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stop starting in that chair like that. that. Ain't what that chair used for. That shit ain't funny. You gonna be done break. Don't shake the table. Here we go. I can't eat it. I know now you said mama get the hash brown, you ain't gonna eat it. I can't eat the hash brown. Mm -hmm. I can't eat it. First of all, it I just, I'm not used to the taste. I told you you can't eat it. Alright. Well, thank you. You want my hash brown is good. Hash brown is good? I can't eat it. I tried. And I give it all the taste. Yeah, I can't eat it. You was right. I'm glad I ate that because boy. I wouldn't eat it. What, Mom? I can't eat the hash brown or the bacon. Why? I don't know. You know there's a lot of pink pork on I can't eat the damn bacon on It's disgusting to me. That's what I would say. Okay. If, if you didn't know, if you wanted it, should have gave us some before you start eating it. But to start picking through it and going through it and then scraping it on like she is not, she is not an animal. Okay. Even though you treat your kids like that, she is not an animal. After you done picked up your food, if you don't want it, then let it go. That's what I would say. Then she talking about she got to get up in the morning and go to work. Okay. She got to go to work. By nine o'clock, okay? She'll see them later. Bitch, this is what you do every day. Going outside, trying to form some type of fucking content. Even if I say, well, I got to go to Dollar Tree and buy some chips or some candy. This is what you present. So you rather do this and call this a job than go actually work a job to know that you have enough, uh, enough to actually 
provide. That's what I would say because it makes no sense. And you leaving 9 o'clock, your kids are still asleep because you know they stay up all fucking night doing everything that they want to do. Messing with the TV, messing with the air fryer, side side crying. You're not hands on about nothing, but you get your ass up early in the morning to leave the house and stay gone and don't come back until Lord knows when. And then when you come back, you leaving again to go play bingo. So then you say, where is the meals? Where is their breakfast? What is they eating? How does this work? It is what it is. They basically can find their way. That's basically what she giving. Waffle House, maybe that Waffle House bring back memories. Memories of her and fucking Hayward. Okay, talking about she was craving. It's always what you fucking crave. Do these kids ever get anything that they actually want outside of a McDonald's? I see Leah likes fucking Chick-fil-A. You know, she wanted Chick-fil-A for her birthday. Do you ever step outside the house and say, I'm going to buy everybody Chick-fil-A? Nope. I'm going to make sure I get a good ass meal. How much? If I got to pay $30 for my fucking self and my kids going to get, yeah, whatever is fucking cheap. Okay. I want to talk about the comments and y'all call it bots okay these fake ass comments fake ass names just fake all the way across the board we know you serve fake all the fucking time but to move it on down to the comments i mean come on trying to make your channel look good but did anybody notice remember when i pointed it out and i talked about uh hayward bowser okay who the fuck is hayward bowser who made this name up but did y'all see the name, okay? And I have to be messy for a second, even though it's a fake-ass account. But did y'all see the name Christopher fucking Bowser, okay? Do anybody know who Christopher Bowser is? Do y'all know where that name came from or where did they find it? Then that's where I say, my jazzy life, okay? Nika, how is it that my jazzy life baby daddy okay is in your fucking comments i know he's actually not there but how is it a uh, count and right after christopher bowser y'all know chris okay hefty hips so we know she sit down and she watch my jazzy life because she sit here and she take that shit and she wanted to present it on her channel okay same shit like she's supporting her but you grabbed her baby daddy name and put it on your make an account of uh christopher bowser not only christopher bowser make a hayward bowser bitch you is some you is some stupid okay that's what i would say some fucking stupid i'm scrolling y'all and i kept saying christopher christopher bowser sound familiar christopher bowser is hefty hips christopher bowser is chris is poor there i'm just saying if it is a bot if she created the account herself why would you do that? I'm just saying, why would you take his name? This video I'm moving over to is government assistant. It's WIC, EBT, Medicaid, not child support. This is a WIC call. I don't really do WIC calls, but I just want to see if anything within there that I need to catch. Now, they getting us out the car. They're going into the store. She always got to have Naya tagging along. Naya has on these little bitty shorts. They look like bed shorts, okay? Her Nika in front of the camera she has on these little bitty shorts look at her booty y'all this is your 20 year old okay everything that you present with your older kids is just not appropriate okay that's what i would say it's it's not okay at all the same thing that you give with papa is not okay it's a hell of a high day today. and um, you don't have much moving around or doing anything now he letting us go thank you get the key throw that foot from they tell my um, you said now you're leaving. She is, she got the job that she wants. She's going on to quit it, so you know. But she surprised me, and I'm, I'm very proud of her. She's a hard worker. That's true. She said it's hot. She ain't that hot. She ain't that hot. Alright, y'all, so we in the store. I'm going to get up. She's, I'm an apple. She's a spring pudding. She's going to take this shit by the I just get one of these watermelons right here. Come on. Mm -hmm. You want to eat some? Let me get it off the wheat. What's on this one? These one on the top, I see. Right now.
The same thing that you give with your smaller kids. Okay, y'all seen the Instagram? She got a picture she posts, got a dress up, way up here. Okay, got her boobs out. Keep, uh, uh, Isaiah and Elijah both is right here. This is what you display for your fucking kids to see. This this is where your mind frame is, where you say it's too much everywhere. I shouldn't have myself out here like this, but I don't fucking care when it comes to my daughter. I talk about her her coochie, I talk about her booty, I talk about all these things. Then where you say a sick fucking mind frame. A sick mind frame of the sick shit that she sent her and she so called makeup, okay, cause I don't know what's true and what's not. She lied about every fucking thing. For her also to sit here and talk about the things that took place with her being with her grandmother and saying that she couldn't, the reason why she has written a book now is because she couldn't speak back then. She couldn't speak back then because her grandmother would have duct taped her mouth if you go outside the house and speak about anything. Okay, y'all listen. Speak about anything that takes place within the home. Okay, basically you'll get in trouble for telling somebody what's taking place in her. Doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. Don't say anything. Then I use those same words that she said that came out of her mouth as what she does right now in her home with her kids. And when I go out there and put my story out there about my life and what I've been through about abuse and all this stuff, it's just basically talking to people and telling them, you know, like I've been abused before. I've been a child. I could never talk about what I was going through in my household because, you know, my grandma didn't play that. Your, tape, your mouth will be taped with duct tape if you mess with her and go out there and tell something that you're not supposed to tell. So it's Them kids know better not to say any fucking thing. Okay, because what happens in this house, it stays within this house. I mean, because you are already repeating every fucking pattern that your grandmother did. You doing the same damn thing. So why not do the same thing on that? Okay. And then that's why I say, that's why she say, uh, family stays together. Family over everything. Over situations and things that's happening. Okay, still happening or taking place or has happened. Don't speak about it, okay? That's why I brainwash the kids and all those things before we go to DSS because they know, okay? They they know, hey, don't 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 say you're not supposed to say. That's why Leah come on here and say, don't worry about me. That's the same reason Naya say, don't worry about me. But then she'll run to the next social media page because I need somebody to help me because I'm about to lose it. I mean, then that's where it's like, bitch, one, which one is it? Don't worry about you or you need somebody to help or guide you along the way from this evil ass monster. So then that's where she say people are asking. No, bitch, people ain't asking. It's what you heard and what you read about us talking about Naya and why is she back? Why did she come back and land? And then she say... Uh, people was asking about Naya leaving. Oh, she has the job that she wanted. Did she already have a job before she came back? What are you speaking here? I'm proud of her. She's a hard worker. Your answer ain't got shit to do with shit. Okay, you been said Naya was supposed to leave. Now you say, oh, she got the job that she wanted and I'm happy for her. Okay. <laughs> I told y'all how she work. <laughs> Talk about her, her, make her feel the pressure. I'm going to take it down and then say, oh, it was bothering my scalp. Uh, Naya, Naya ain't leaving. Naya ain't going nowhere. I'm going to let Naya come on her and cut some fucking hot dogs, okay? Cut hot dogs and explain to them, are y'all ready for Monday? I mean, here we are the middle of the fucking week and she is still here. And now y'all want to talk about she got the job that she wanted. She got the job that she wanted, but she's planning to, to 
sit here and put fans and TVs in the living room space? Bitch, what are you speaking here? That's the gibberish shit that we don't understand. And none of your shit that you speak makes sense whatsoever. Then that's why I say sometimes just keep your fucking mouth closed. It will do you some good. Because even with talking about your grandmother or about your past, you still tell on your fucking self. Also to her or her, admit about calling Leah a B-I-T-C-H saying... Y'all ain't never called y'all kids out their name. Hell no, nah, bitch. Not like that. They ain't on the street. That ain't my friend. That ain't my enemy. That's the child. That's the child that I brought in. And I'll treat them respectfully. Not calling her a bitch. I was bitch word towards Leah wasn't meant like that. Like, they just take that out there and run with it. Like, oh, she called her daughter a bitch over a soda. And she did this and she did that. And you always, y'all y'all never been called out of y'all name before? Y'all always go around with certain things that I don't understand why y'all do that. But I ain't mad about none of that stuff. Let's keep on putting my name out there. The more my name go out there, the more views I get and the more likes and whatever else people want to do because they want to come over and see who is Miss Independent Nika. Sorry, but sounds like to me, Nika be low-key hating. I mean, you mad because now you got on some short shorts and you probably could never. I'm just saying, Buffy y'all built crazy anyway. But it's just the thought that you keep focusing on her shorts and oh, it's not that hot, bitch. Let her be her. Let her do her at 20. Okay? That same time frame that you had the chance to do you, but while doing you, you thought about running after people and having all these kids just messing everything up for yourself because look at you now. Allow her to do her. Talking about getting a job and she surprised me. She surprised you. Ain't nothing surprising that the fuck y'all give. Both of y'all working there together and lie about situations. And Naya, okay, tries to co-sign for the bullshit. Just talking about the soap bar. Nobody asked you, okay? What I would say for you is figure your shit out. Figure your landing and what you need to do next, okay? That's what I would say. Don't allow your life to go down the drain. Sitting here and want to speak up for the breeder. She gives no fucks. Her plans is if you do got a job, okay? Because y'all lie so fucking much. You got the job that you wanted and she surprised me. Let me find a way to fuck it up, okay? She's a fuck up. We deal with having a breeder that's real perverted, okay? With the things that she says. She's telling Naya to lift the watermelons up like she lifts them shorts up, basically for her man. Bitch, this is your daughter, ho. This is not your friend. And this is not how we talk. I'm just saying. And especially in front of the camera. So then you say, when you start peeping shit that she's giving and doing, it opens your eyes up to see way more and to start really listening to hear to say, look at her. Look what the fuck she is giving. Look what she is saying. She's to sit here and spend a whole two minutes talking about Naya's shorts and it ain't hot like that outside and she got on these short ass shorts. Why the fuck is she worried about it? She 20 and she is trying to do her of how she want to be wearing clothes. Bitch, can't nobody tell you nothing. You shouldn't be in that Instagram pick the way that you are i'm just saying got your boobs all in your fucking kids face how many of y'all seen the short okay it's titled apples banana and water is good nutrition for the soul bitch we know you playing because you don't believe in none of that shit if wick wasn't providing it so you had to get it you would not purchase it at all sitting here eating banana and an apple showing water talking about good nutrition this should have been something for your kids to do. You should have brought them in, allowed them to eat an apple and banana and drink water and allow them to say something about it. But your overgrown eggs got to take and want to do everything while you sitting there and wasting a fucking apple and a banana. Burly can take a bite out of that hoe, probably scourge your teeth, gonna give out on you. Okay, so but then you say, what is the point of this video? Okay, you can see that she is starving for attention, starving for views. I will come on and do any and everything. Maybe I'll catch somebody's attention. Maybe I'll catch a game by just doing some stupid shit.
your name will forever linger out of her being on as Shanika Grant and having your videos to bag that shit up on everything. That's what I would say. Apples and bananas. Allow your kids to come on and pick a fruit. Eat it. However, enjoy it. What do you think about it? Why is a banana or apple uh, nutritious? Why is it good for you? That's what I'll be doing, bringing your kids. So moving along, next video, we on Miss Nika Real Life Situations. Uh, the video is titled, Happy 4th July Bookies, No Plans, Daily Life Vlog. So it's 4th of July. Instead of being in the house with the kids, taking the kids to the park, having ice cream, snow cones, doing something different, giving different, I'm finna make another Dollar Tree run, back to the store run. It's something else I gotta get for the house. But then you say, you just did a wick haul just the other day. Why is it that you couldn't get what you needed to get out the store? Because her content is based around Dollar Trees, okay? Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Laundry Mat, okay? Nothing else. You ain't getting nothing else out of that except in the kitchen fixing some hot dogs, beans over rice, uh, or some spaghetti, spaghetti and some sausage, okay? So, in this video, she made a trip to the her P.O. Box, okay? Well, every time she go make a trip to a P.O. Box, I say, hmm, she must be looking for somebody to send her something. Just like she come on and say, thank you, Buki. Thank you for lunch. I mean, you being a grown-ass woman, having another grown-ass woman paying for your lunch. I mean, that says a whole lot. And you continue. You continue to want to do this shit and for people to continue to give this type of shit to you. That's why you're going to your P.O. Box. You're going to your P.O. Box to see if somebody has sent you something. I come on here and, and now again I say, my grandma always told me a closed mouth don't never get fed. Uh, it's the only way basically trying to survive. So then you say, I guess... That's your excuse, and it makes it right. It don't make it right. Because if it's hard for you to survive out here, go get a fucking job. Just go get a job and work. You leave the kids at home by themselves all damn day anyway. So it wouldn't matter if you went out there and start working, bringing your coins in instead of looking for somebody to always fucking send you something. Looking for somebody to send you something to buy you lunch or send your kids something or just send you something in general, right? Mm. That's why we run into that P.O. box. Maybe they done sent me something. Closed mouth don't get fed. Bitch, people get tired of hearing that shit. You say, at what point do, do you open your mouth up and get your feet to move it and your hands to move it and do what the fuck you got to do? I'm saying, go out there and find yourself. She does everything in her power just not to be at home with her kids, not to have to deal with them too much, okay? Let me find a way to get out the house and do something. Also with serving content, me going to go wash my car, vacuum my car, uh, dollar store trips. It's got to be something where I can get away from my kids, okay, each and every day. And can't pull them out. So then you say, if Leah is there and she's the one that has to oversee them, and I'm pretty sure they don't fucking listen to her because they don't even listen to their breeder. I know she got to be tired, y'all. Just tired of have to, having to deal with everybody else's responsibility, okay? Because Nika ain't owning up to her shit. Nah. So she said that the kids was asking for stew chicken, okay? Stew chicken and rice. Have y'all seen that fucking stew chicken? Who out here requesting that, okay? Remember she used to say Isaiah be wanting pork and beans and uh, hot dogs over rice. I was finna say weenies. Hot dogs over rice. But y'all see now, he just eat the beans and the rice. He do not be wanting the hot dogs. I think she be lying talking about the kids request. Oh, so you'll cook what they request, but anything outside of the house, they can't get something that they fucking request, right? Naya, right with her. Naya, your feet don't get tired of them fucking uh, Crocs. Do you not own another shoe outside of that? I don't think she do. It was just like Taekwon and all he had was them fucking slides until somebody purchased him a pair of bubble slides. But now that he got a job, it's like I can get whatever the fuck I want without somebody trying to snatch my coin. So the next video is Papa came through to pop fireworks with his siblings. So we head to Grandma's house happy fourth, okay? 
But just going out to allow these kids to do certain things. Mm -mm. And you know, anything that's dealing with Papa, y'all, she is running really fast. But if y'all notice, Papa ignores her a whole lot. She was trying to tell Papa, don't do certain things. Put it in the street. Put it in the street. Papa was not listening. He's sitting there and throwing the fireworks. I would say dangerous on all levels. You can also see... Aisha out there trying to light one and his hand was still down there when it started going off. So then that's where I say putting these kids in these unsafe situations, okay? Papa just doing dumb ass shit. They not doing it as they should, okay? She's sitting there. She's so excited. Excited, okay? More excited than the kids, okay? At least they got to see something different for the 4th of July. They didn't eat nothing different. They never go anywhere to celebrate with no whole body, no family members, no friends, no none of that. The only family is just them, nobody else. So then that's where you say, I can understand why the kids are brainwashed and probably they will not speak up. Because at the end of the day, who do you have? You have nobody but the breeder. Okay, that's it. You don't know nobody outside of the fucking box. Nobody. So then you say, but with Papa, he has his grandma, he has his dad, and he has his siblings as well on his grandma's side. Or I would say his dad's side. So he's around more variety of people than just being stuck within this hellhole. And then a lot of y'all say, well, maybe that's why Naya just can't maneuver and keep moving is because she don't have nobody. The only person she have is Nika. So that's where she feels like she's stuck. Well, if she's supposed to have this man, I mean, uh, as Nika would say, lifting your shorts up and all these things, that should be somebody that you can communicate, confide in, and somewhere that you can actually go to be comfortable or able to tell you certain things that's taking place with your breeder, okay? Because people tell you this shit on the YouTube streets all the time and we see it, okay? You going out there supposed to have a new job that you want, so then we'll say, what happened to the last job, okay? You left and this, so what happened to that job? So, I don't know. This whole situation is weird and crazy. It gets more worse each and every day. It doesn't matter what she posts. It doesn't matter if she's trying to collab with shorts. It's always something that she's doing out of pocket that's not fucking right. Moving over to Instagram. Y'all see the picture? I mean, what more can you say to say you are a mother or a breeder, lot lizard, a thirst bucket, whatever you want to call yourself, how whatever it is, okay? Would y'all be posting things like this, okay? I don't think so. Looking for attention. She look for attention within everything that she give and do. She want attention from it. She want attention so I can come back and address it. Because if I come back and address it, it's giving me some type of form of content. Because I'm out here and I'm lacking. Okay, the only thing I'm stringing and holding on is fucking dollar tree house and washing my car and wick and grocery house. That's all I have to give. I can't really open my house up and give all this with my kids because we actually see what's taking place in the background. Not what she come on here and she want us to see because what she want us to see is already fucking camera ready. It's already put together, no slip ups. And if we do slip up, then go back on there, cut the hot dogs and T talk about going to work and all these things so they won't think different of it. But then we say, we already know what's taking place. It's more worse off. We know the actions with the kids, the things that the kids say and what they're doing. Then when we see a clip of you showing like this and then you say, not in front of your boys like that, not in front of your kids. Okay, you are a breeder of 10. Why? Why would you do this? You have a, a son that bees on here on Instagram. Who you want to run across this? His, who do you want? But then you say she's out there for everybody. She don't care if it's her son. She don't care who it is. Anybody. You can get it. Okay? So... It's a whole lot wrong with that. Like I said, don't never come to me in my comments and feel like I should be respecting her or speak light of her. I give no fucking fucks. I will continue to give what I give. And if you don't like it, then I always say you got to do what's fucking best for you. Because it's la la and the la la way is going to remain and I'm going to still step the same each and every fucking day. Okay? No matter who say I'm wrong or what y'all think about it. I just want you to know that. Okay? 
Nika is a piece of shit. I will continue to say it. Anybody can sit here and shit on their kids and be jealous, okay, and manipulate their kids. <laughs> okay, I can't be for you in no type of way. Not even with this content. Not what you put out here on display. Not how you treat your kids. Not how you look over your baby and then want to say your baby is sitting her ass and talking about she want an apple. Apple, she ain't speaking shit for you to understand absolutely nothing. And nobody understands Google Gaga gibberish. We don't understand that shit. So I know she is not coming to you talking about she want an apple. But yet again, she trying to be pleasing, pleasing to the YouTube streets by trying to please us with her content to provide to say, here you go. Well, they is doing this. Well, y'all want me to give different? I'm going to go look around at the mall and I pick shit up. Well, here you go. Y'all talk about Papa. Well, he called. He, he got fireworks. Here we go. And... That's all she fucking give. Okay. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all that I have for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do do. Do 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 subscribe. Y'all already know anything that is fly like give over here ain't nothing that will force. But I do ask for you to drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about all these trifling hoes sit shows. Okay, I'm just saying. What y'all think? Uh, from the mall video, what do y'all think about Instagram with this pic? And I got my two sons right here. This is how you expose yourself out around your, your kids. But then again, y'all remember that day they was at 20 Silo and Papa was in the room and he was helping her put up her bed. I mean, she didn't have a shirt on. She had everything exposed then. And then you would say, why? Why would you do your kids like this? I mean, anyways, y'all see y'all on the next ratchet video. <laughs> yeah,